Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're unboxing, setting up and giving my first impressions of the brand new Oppo Reno 2. So I went to their launch event in London and it was really amazing to see. I got a bit of hands on, but I was really fortunate enough to walk away with the device here. So let's unbox it, go through the key features and obviously give my first impressions. So on the front of the box, it actually shows you the back design of the actual device which is actually kind of cool you've got the camera set up here obviously the line and then you've got the name and the branding down there just on the side you've then got oppo then on the back we just have a bit of information our color which is luminous black you've got dual sim option eight gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage so that's everything we need to know there so just going to bring in my knife here cut along here so just take this up So really nice design box here as well. It's got a nice shimmer and shine to it. Feels nice actually, feels good quality from Oppo. So taking it off, it says the Oppo Reno 2. So inside here, we're just gonna have some ear information, I believe. Check it out. So you have Oppo and Oppo. So I'm guessing the smaller one's gonna be warranty and safety information, and the large one is actually a user manual going through different features of the phone. But who needs that when you've got someone like me Go through all the features for you, just saying. Then we actually have the device itself. So let's just take this out here. So that's the side, take the tray off. So underneath, you've actually got a case, which is nice, nice looking case to go with our device. So then you have some headphones here. Let's just take these out. One thing I noticed here as well, you should be able to pick it up on camera, is they have a green inside, which is awesome because Oppo is all about green. So taking off this bit here, it reveals your headphones cable. Obviously you've got music management there and this uses a 3.5 mil jack as there is one on the device. So that's really handy to know. You've then also got your USB-A to USB-C cable for syncing and charging. And also you'll notice this is green too as well. So it's easy to identify for me as well as a YouTuber, which one goes with which plug and which device. It's quite helpful that they all have different colors. Underneath here, hidden away, is your SIM tool. Then finally, you've got your three pin plug here. And as you'll notice, this is green as well. That's because you need to use this plug and this cable here to use the VOOC charging for the Oppo device, which is really good to notice and make sure that you always do use as well. So on the device itself, it's got a bit of information here. So it has the 48 megapixel quad camera, five times hybrid zoom, ultra dark mode, ultra steady video, 6.5 inch AMOLED panoramic screen, four thousand milliamp hour of VOOC flash charge 3.0 and also has eight gigabytes of RAM 256 gigabytes of internal storage so obviously let's pull this label here so we'll unfold our device so we have another label here just for information just to pull that off because I don't want that to be shown so I want to show off this color and it's called luminous black and it looks amazing honestly you must see this in person it looks really nice as well and obviously you have the quad camera on the back there. You have the Oppo O dot here, which means when it's put down on a surface, it is protected. It's not the lenses, it's this little dot. It's raised slightly, but really nice. Can't wait to use this. So turning this aside, one thing I really do like here from Oppo is that green power button. So let's power our device on. So powering on our device. This is the first Oppo device that we've ever had on the channel. So I'm really grateful for that as well to bring you this. And we're going to go through the setup phase. So this uses ColorOS 6.1 with Android 9. Obviously this will be updated over time as well and should include Android 10 very soon. So going through the setup phase, as you know, with most of my other unboxings, we look to see if there's any accessibility features. And sadly there's not. I can't even use the volume key shortcuts, which is a shame. It's it seems quite large as well because it is a large display but for most people they will need to enlarge their display to use it so that's sadly not the case here so we've got english united kingdom then obviously your region united kingdom then connect to a wi-fi obviously you can input a sim card as well so i'm going to connect to my wi-fi obviously the keyboard will come up and just implement your password to your wi-fi once that's done it will say connected terms of use you need to agree to them to actually use all of our device user experience program i would join this so you get the best out of your device upload error log data again 
give them information on any errors that we have, check in for updates, copy apps and data from another device if you want to. So if you press next here, that will do that. If not, I'm gonna say don't copy. Then it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Google account. If not, you can then create one here. So you'll need a Google account for all their services and their apps and also to buy music and buy other media. So simply either sign in or set up an account and just go through the setup phase. Once you've signed in, it'll come up like this and it ask you to agree to terms and services again. Then it's gonna ask you to select the Google services you want to use. The only one I turn off is backup because of the amount of devices I have, I'm gonna fill my storage within about five minutes. Access your assistant with your voice match. So my voice match is on file. If it's not, you can then set up a voice match by asking certain phrases and it'll go through the setup phase for you. Then it's moving on to protection and how you want to protect your device. You can have lock screen, passcode and fingerprint. So there's no fingerprint on the back. So it's hidden inside the display. So it's using hidden in-screen fingerprint unlock 3.0, which is actually put into the display. Obviously it's asking you for a secondary option here. So make sure you do the secondary option as well. Obviously you can change this by clicking on here and you can choose which option is best for you. So it's this one. So once that's done, it will then highlight what you need to do here. So add in your fingerprint. So it just says to place on here. So once you feel a vibrate, just lift your thumb up or your finger, depending on which one you're using. It will tell you and it won't vibrate if you actually, the sensor has misread your fingerprints. So now it's telling you to do sort of like the edges so you can use edge detection. So if you pick it up in a little bit of a different way. There you go. Continue. So Wi-Fi Assistant, this will work with your data to improve your data. It'll use the Wi-Fi as well to help. Then we have an option here to import data. So we can import data from an old phone or we can set up a brand new Oppo phone. Welcome, it's Color OS 6.1. So get started, tap, and we're done. So very quick there, but sadly no accessibility. I'm really a little bit disappointed about that because accessibility is key for me. As you know, I try to champion accessibility in every device possible. There are accessibility settings on this device. We will be making an accessibility video, so don't worry about that. It's just a shame there was none actually in the video. Looking forward to seeing how well this device actually works and how well it performs. Obviously it loves fingerprints, as you can see. It has a unibody design as well. It has Corning Gorilla 6 on the front and Corning Gorilla a five on the back. But with that unibody design, I do love this sort of blue light that just lights up there. It looks like there's a light in there, but it's just where it sort of naturally gets the light and pulls it in. It looks really nice. So ColorOS is very different to most other sort of software platforms that you may have seen before. Obviously it all takes time to get used to. It's given us the information that you can add more, but obviously it looks a little bit different than what you've seen on previous devices, but that's okay. Changes are good. It's good to have a change now again. Pulling down here, you see your notification, your widget area. I think a lot better. Obviously this device goes very bright, over 700 nits of brightness, which is really impressive, especially for me being visually impaired. So let's actually delve in and learn a little bit more about our device. First of all, the display. It's a 6.5 inch panoramic AMOLED display, 700 nits of brightness, 20 by nine aspect ratio. The resolution is 2400 by 1080, 401 pixels per inch and over 93% screen to body ratio, which is really impressive as there is no notch on this device yet again, which is great. It has a pivot rising or shark fin front facing camera. So let's jump into the camera. Let me show you this. There we go. So this is the pivot raising shark fin camera. I prefer shark fin. It's actually pivot raising, but actually it looks really nice and it's really quite a cool effect there. So that actually comes up in 0 0.8 seconds and it goes to 11 degree angle, which is great. It also has a free fall protection. So if I open it up here, if I hold it at a certain height, it will detect and then automatically close, which is amazing because then it is protected. So continue, it'll come back out. It's very sturdy as well, can hold it like this. It's very strong, but it will have that full protection, which is awesome. And I'm really pleased to see that's on a device like this as well, because it's great having these features, but sometimes if we don't actually protect it, it's actually really important that it is on there. 
which it is with this one. It has a 16 megapixel front facing camera, f2.0. So turning around to the back here and hidden away in that black coloring of our actual case in here is a quad camera, which is really impressive. You have a 48 megapixel main camera, which is the Sony IMX586 sensor. Really impressive one for 2019 and major flagships have used this. An f1.7 aperture, 26 millimeters wide, and it has an optical image stabilization. Underneath that is your eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens, 116 degrees field of view, a macro option and f2.2 aperture. Underneath that is a 13 megapixel telephoto lens, which is in a vertical structure and that's an f2.4. That means you have a five times hybrid zoom and 20 times digital zoom. And finally underneath is a two megapixel mono portrait lens, which is an f2.4. So loads of different lenses there, loads of great photography coming up. And also we will have a dedicated camera review on this device because I think it deserves one with a quad camera. So what's actually inside our device, the engine room, what's actually running internally, it's using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor. A GPU is from Adrano 618, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Our battery is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery with 20 watt VUC 3.0 flash charging. Can't wait to see how well that works. It's protected with an in-screen fingerprint sensor, which is its third generation. Yep, that's lightning quick. Just put a finger on there and it's done. Its thickness is different in different points of the device. So it's 9.5 millimeters to 8.5 millimeters in thickness, just depending where you actually hold your device. So the Oppo Reno 2 comes full of features and it mainly focuses on camera. So we'll be doing a dedicated camera review, but also you can see in the dark with ultra dark mode, which I will test and I will bring to you. And I tested it at the actual launch and it was really quite impressive. So bring your portrait to life with new portrait mode 2.0 and loads of features within that. So you can take clear footage with ultra steady videos. That means your videos are not gonna be stuttery or not bouncing around, which is really good. And I'm looking forward to seeing how well that does. You've got the freedom to change the video dynamic with zoom. So it means you can zoom in and also you can hear people as well because it reduces the wind noise. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how well that works with sound focus as well it'll pick up on the person you actually want to listen to and we'll try and sort of get rid of the background noise it's the world first pop-up camera with a bokeh effect video so obviously with that pivot raising camera or the shark fin camera which is 16 megapixels it has a bokeh effect but you can also do this in video and they're saying it's a world first so that's really good this is available to buy now from the car phone warehouse or ee on contract and currently sim free from 449 pounds so 450 pounds gets you a fantastic device a beautiful looking display a quad camera that has one of the best lenses in it for 2019 plus so many more features which we'll delve into and really take a good look at if you have any questions any queries on the brand new oppo reno 2 please leave a comment down below be more than happy to help there'll be loads of new videos coming up very soon for me ricky and the brand new oppo reno 2 Thanks always for watching, and if you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all of my latest videos. From me, bye for now.